Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening, good night, good afternoon, good morning to each and every one of my divas. And Dan, this is Queen Olive. My topic today is Happy Sunday and a little Sunday thought. Yeah, <clears throat> Marcy, Marmar, Big Bissell, Telfa, Yap, Yakisha. His name's Black Banner, Big Up Yourself. You can yourself, everybody. Queen I live in the house. Yeah, just come to say a little. Hello, Dolly British. I was just looking at your makeup on your face not too long ago, and it looked so pretty. It looks so good. Hi, Joan. How you all doing? And Nikki, Chantel, right then, and hello again. Yeah. I just said, let me do a little Sunday. Big up yourself. Looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Elaine, Samantha. Yeah, I was here sitting down, plan to take the kids them out. But unfortunate is not this week is the day for them to go. It's next week. So I am here doing a little live. Yep, I'm doing a little live. But Dudu's acting up so much from the other day. I don't know what's wrong with Dudu. Dudu, what's wrong with you? Okay, she's no more divas. <laughs> Yes, your makeup looking very nice, girl. I love it. I was just looking at it not too long ago. You know, sometimes when I have the time, I just go through and go through some of my um my divas um profile and look at them because I know a lot of them by saying hi and hello. Darin, big up yourself. But definitely, I do not know the face like this. So I said, let me take a walk through and I see that makeup is looking very good. Yes, um, today, you know, we I do some cooking because, you know, these... Grands I have here, I've been complaining about the grand to my divas. Yeah. And um, they used to eat up a storm. Now they're not eating because grandma starts spoiling them, start taking them to the pizza store, start taking them to McDonald's, start taking them to Popeye's, taking them all over. So they get addicted to the road food because they like the road food because they're from down, down south. So they don't want to eat. So I, I get up this morning and I decide to cook. And they eat. I make some macaroni and cheese. And I make some um, brown stew chicken with rice and peas and fry fish. <laughs> Forget all about to put it out and to show my divas what I cook when I make all those food. So, um, they eat. And now they want to go to McDonald's again. I said, no, McDonald's, no. I will take you to basket robin so they could go buy ice cream but no mcdonald these kids are something else if you follow them if you follow these kids you don't you, we, we don't have no money to pay our bill they want all the fast food in the world yeah all the fast food in the world so i'm here with a little chit chat with you all people my divas you know that you know we call ourselves divas we are divine, inspirational, victorious, anointed women, and the dance they are anointed guys. Yes, yeah, so um, we're here today. There's a lot of little thing going on. Yes, Mr. Gully Crash again. If you don't hear it, I saw it on the um on the internet this morning. He crash again, and again with his mouth yabbing, 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 not saying anything nice. You know, you think everything is okay and fine with him. It doesn't matter what the gender of the person is or who the person is who he crashed in the person van was spark and he crashed in the person that means that he is the wrong the, he's, he's the, the one to be blamed he's wrong but he crashed and acting upon going on who don't like him and who grudge him what people going to grudge him for it what people going to grudge a man for lord have mercy I don't know if you don't have any of his talk in his mouth. People get it. Sometimes people don't grudge people when they hear they talk about them. You know, there's nothing about hate and bad mind. People just want the person to do to do better in whatsoever they are doing because they're not doing anything. It is just jump up and curse people and call him all kind of name. But it's only wasted the time people do when they try to talk to him because he's not changing for nothing. So Today is Sunday and all the ladies home. I know all the ladies. Some of them work, of course, yes, because, you know, this country, it's a 24 hours working. Some people at work now, while some people at home and I know who is at home and we are island people. We make the best of it. We do up our house. We clean up. We clean up Saturday, but Sunday then we get another little extra cleaning again and we cook our 
rice and peas, our steak, our oxtail, our sweet and sour pork, our sweet and sour chicken. We have jerk chicken, jerk pork, we do all kind of thing. And a lot of them is at the park having fun because it's a hot day today. Um, I'm sitting down in my house. I did want it to go to the park, but these kids want to wear what they want to wear. So grandma said, no, 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 no. I'm the hype grandmother. So you got to wear what hype grandmother wanted to be. I'm going to do a role in a, in a movie named Hype Grandmother. So I want them to dress how I want them to dress. They want to dress their way. So I said, okay, forget about it. We are not going anywhere no more. Because when you're going out with them, they want to wear what they want to wear. Yes, of course. But I mean, it is too hot to wear black. Go out there. Kids must wear bright colors. I believe in kids wearing bright colors. They be big up yourself. They don't want to wear it. So I say, okay, later for them. So, you know, it's a lot of thing has been going on and on. And the computer, some people disappear away from the computer. Some people still there. And, um... What I'm trying to say, some of the people, um, they're putting out some of the people who said that they, um, plastic food and plastic, this, I really, really would appreciate, nobody said me no thing about no plastic food because some people just carrying down other people and bringing down other people's business, whereas nothing such as that. A fish, if it is not cooked, it is hard to cut with the knife. Because fish skin is like a rubbery thing. Cabbage, lettuce, and all them things. Sometimes when people send you all those stuff, don't send it off to nobody else. Just delete it right there and let it go. Hi, Karen. Because um, people just following. It's like they are in a line waiting. Everybody in a line waiting for their medication. And when one person get their medication, they will say, Oh, you get your medication, this is what you get. This one said this, and this one said, oh, it's the same thing you get, and probably this is this thing has the same color, the same look, but it's a different name. Yeah, because everything has a serial number. Hi, Claudia, how you doing? So, you know, it's, um, it's Emancipation Weekend now in our country, our independence. So a lot of things has been going on, party all over. I've been getting invited to a lot of party, but refuse to go to no party. I, ref I refrain and refuse to go to party. I've been staying home. There's no special reason why. I don't want to go, but when you're going to a party, you have to into a party mood and a party vibe. Sometimes when it goes to the party, you get into the mood or into the vibes, but I'm not into the mood, not, not the vibe only. I feel like stay home. Because, you know, um, here in New York, school hasn't been open yet. But, you know, over there in, um, in down south, like Georgia, Texas, Florida, and all those places, school over, let out early so they go back into school very early so you know these grandkids are getting prepared and shopping and all them stuff for them to go home they could shop down there but you know they're being with grandma and they're going home so you know they want them little ning dang and dang dang to back to school and these kids they're calling big shot adidas mm -hmm. jordan all these big pride big things they're calling my dear but this hype grandma likes to see them in nice things but it's not all the time my grandmother gonna buy one pair of stickers for a little nine-year-old for a hundred and twenty or a hundred and fifty that's too much too much too much so when it's come to the sneakers grandma don't buy it for them i'd like them to wear it of course but grandma not gonna buy it they got to their parents buy that taking a little drink yeah so what you all my divas and my dan, what you all cooking. As I say, I know when I'm not coming here to say, well, I'm coming to empty my belly and tell everybody what is in my belly and tell them all my business. They are not here. They are not going to be up and here. I think it's, um, today was a flag raising in the Bronx with the, um, the, the same Jamaican commission and thing from the forum. I, I do remember which one of the day, but... I'm not in the mood to go nowhere. I'm in the mood to stay home because sometimes you see somebody looking good and strong and everything, but there's something behind the back of them head is worried and bothering them. So I'm just sitting back and relax until the spirit say, move. Hey, Nadine. And just sit and listen all of these people who's gone on a tour, who got on a vacation, who is doing this, who crashed, 
who's saying this and who's cursing and going on with all kind of thing. Queen Olive just sitting down and just watching. Because I said, I'm a diva. I have no time for that. I have no time for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, I have no time for this because I have a lot of work to be done to my house. I'm doing some major repair. My roof, my siding, because you know, it's coming back to winter time, you know, soon. So, you know, last year I was so cold and frozen and stuff. I didn't do anything, so I'm um, doing a little fix up. So I'm just sit back, relaxing, and do what I have to do while I'm out here doing other stuff also. I go to interviews with people about um, Photoshop, Photoshop for um, little parts that I play into a little movie and stuff. So there's a lot of things I have on my plate here doing right now. So Akeem, where Akeem is? Um, our divas and Dan, we know, we know, we have a little Akeem there going back to, going to, um, to school, you know. He's young and he's inexperienced, Akeem. He, um, he's going to school. He should be here going to school and work instead of going over there to go to school because, you know, I can do because things are not, not easy in America. Things is not nice. Things is hard. We think it is easier. It is not easy. So he never asks for no one to give him anything or nothing but you know sometimes I call his phone is off and sometimes you know he there they get little uh, money and stuff but you know as our little Dan and our little joke about and you know, our show hi Deborah um, I tell him that I'm gonna put some money and his um in his money app I don't know if any with you they have his money app account if you want to put a little ten dollars or five dollars that you know could be able to help um do something because you know he's young and inexperienced as I say again he never asked but I just wanted to for him to have a little pocket money there with him because things are really easy with nobody at all. Some people pretend like they are much or they are millionaire, they are rich. As I say, I am not a millionaire, I am not rich. So when them used to talk about why oh, I have money doing this and money doing that, I just sit back, relax and laugh because you know and not worry. that's not what was going on. No way. Because nobody not gonna say somebody have given them money and a man the man give them everything and run away from it. I run away to nothing. You understand me? But you know the kindness of your heart sometimes it's it come back to stick you what you do for people and i do a lot i help a lot i pack barrels and i send home i do i do i do i do nobody didn't ask me to do it i do it from the kindness of my heart because you know i'm trying to help people to see what if, if they want to help themselves because some people don't appreciate what people do for them first they get it there oh, all over the internet oh we get this and everything is good and everything is fine and later on when they they spend up all the money and do what they want to do with the money they turn around and talk all kind of crap but you know that is expected as i say to all my friends and divas and dan you know everybody do a little chit chat about their friends and there's nothing wrong about chit chatting about your friend but who you talk with you talk about your friend with you have to be careful of who you talk with and sometimes you when you talk to your friend remember to make your phone off before you started to talk about your friend i was there i was um walking down the street yesterday and um a lady was saying call back somebody and said Imagine I was talking to you and you're not even as much as hang up the phone properly. You're talking. You're talking my name. You have to hang up the phone. Because, yeah, you know, I can't believe you're talking, talking my name. I turned to her and said, it's nothing wrong somebody talking to me. But I mean, she have to talk. If she want to talk about it, she should hang up the phone. She said, yes, that's what I'm thinking about. Because, you know, you know, she's talking my name. You know, I have done everything that I could do for that person. And I can't believe that. I said, yeah, we are all human beings and we are not, nobody's not perfect. So, don't make that be a problem. She said, you know, it's true. But I know when they go home, they're going to have an argument. Hello, Audrey, how you doing, girl? I'm just here on a Sunday afternoon, decided to talk. 
Yeah, I'm not making any um pineapple colada, no peanut colada. I'm not making nothing. I'm just sitting down very easy. Them kids waiting on me to take them to row, um basket robin. So we're gonna go there and buy them an ice cream and let them stop. Um but when they are doing it, they are, they are just walking behind me and watching me. Watching me every move I make, every talk I make. Let's do the and more. But you know, Maya going home this this week here she's going home because she has to go back to school. Yeah, Jeannie, big up yourself, Jenny Michelle. One love. Yep. So we all have for dinner today. Nobody offered me. Nobody called me over to come and have dinner. Nobody invite me over to come at their birthday party. I saw anybody putting a birthday party. Nobody invite me at their barbecue and all them things. But when I cook, everybody say, oh, Miss Oliver, I'm coming over. I know they're just running them out. They're not coming over. But they're coming over. Okay, you know, that is a, the, the way of the world. We're doing a, a, a live talk show. We have to have people in the audience to talk. You know, sometimes some people talk. They mean it sometimes. Some people don't mean it. Big up to my friend, all my friend in England. Big up to DJ Goodas. And his wife, his whole entire family. Big up to them and Patrick Classic. One love to each and every one. Yes. So, today is the Sunday. Tanisha. And then it's Olive. Long time you're looking lovely and growing. You are going to sleep. God bless you. Take care, I'm going to sleep. Okay, Jen Jen. It's time for sleep time for you over there. So go and enjoy your beauty rest because we call it beauty rest. And remember to tell God, say, I'm going to sleep. Watch over me as an angel. I'm your child. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, RJ. Thank you. Yeah. They say when you get up there, getting up there in age, that's when you started to glow and shine. Glow. And shine, I mean, you're looking younger, you're looking more better than before because when you're a certain age, you, 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 you don't want to be bothered with nothing. So you just tell yourself, say, sit back and relax. I was talking to myself um, yesterday, I was saying to myself, mm, I have four children, but one, you know, she's a baby for life. So I was saying that I just want the day to come that I just get up, get my shower, go to church, go to party goes to a little hangout or goes to anywhere a little function and then come back home get my shower go to my bed and don't worry about light bill gas bill phone bill income tax or nothing i did that that i want that day to come that i don't have to worry because you know when it's come to um bills you have to pay light gas phone water cable whole stocks all kind of bills we have to pay and then we have to have a little insurance that in case if anything happened to take shame from our face we have to have all of these for our children and our loved one yeah because sometimes again remember i tell you people if you're married to somebody and you feel like the marriage is not working good as how you want it to be do not make no problem if your husband working, you go ask him to let make a will, because if you don't, or your wife, if you don't make a will, and if your loved one, both side die, if your husband dead or your wife die, and if you don't make a will and his, and all his money is tied up in with people, you're not gonna get nothing. All the money is gonna go to that people. So, if we are we are we are ladies and we are gentlemen, please protect yourself when it's coming to your marriage life because you were there sitting down in your house taking care of your husband or taking care of your wife and you have some very evil vindictive people some of these wives and some of these husbands they know what they're doing they have children the children get everything and you as a wife there sitting down washing cooking clean and bed service and then hi tracy samuel big up yourself when it come to the end of the journey you have nothing to get because uh, he already have everything he have tied up so if you feel like you're into a situation like that make a living will okay i was at the um i was at the park i went to the park with them children um friday evening yes and when i was at the park i am a lady walking there and the lady was talking 
like an African. So I said, okay, you can sit right there because the bench was much to say if it's nice. Me. So I said, no, you could sit. So she, she, um, she said, I'm Jamaican. I said, oh, because when I hear you talking, I heard your, your voice sound like an African. She said, because she'd been around African. She said she'd been dating this African guy going two years. So now she married the African guy. And ever since she married that guy, that guy is giving her hell, oh hell. She said there's so many things that guy, that guy do to her. The guy tell her she's too fat, she must go and exercise, and she must um, change her hairstyle. All kind of thing. In which way, she needs to carry herself better than how she's carrying herself because she's in a good job. She said she work at the, um, the insurance place. So I said... How long did since you married? She said she married to him six months. But ape, um, the 9th of August is going to make six months. I said, you could have known the wedding. So she said, oh, I never know. She said, um, then she go back again and said, he's like a pig. When he making love with her, he like he will tear up the whole her inside. So when night come, he comes home, he want bed use, he want food, and as soon as he gets his food and his bed use, he go downstairs in some basement with he and his friend them. With he and his friend them. Okay, Maya, we're talking something with kidnapped supposed to hear. And he treat her like she's nobody. And with their talking, 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 she said she she, she was so fat. Her she got swollen food, she got all kind of problems. So I tell her that she's stressed. She say yes, she thinks she's stressed. Then when we talk and to the end of this conversation, she's gonna tell me she used to do reading. If you used to do read people and you read people and tell them about their life, why you couldn't read yourself and tell about your life? So this African man only wants to get his paper. The man married to her for documentation and take her to his lawyer. He don't make you go to a lawyer. Because as soon as they get married, he goes to the lawyer and she be doing the paper. I said, girl, you must know what you want because you say you're Jamaican and we know we Jamaican, we are smart. Island people, as a matter of fact, we are smart because we know when somebody using you. And you're gonna sit down there and make that man playing you, treating you like a dog, calling you all kind of names in the house. Yes, yeah, sir. We have she said she's, she married him for love. But after they've been together so long and they married now for love, it's no more love no more. The guy said he has his children in um, Ghana or Africa, someplace in Africa. So he wants his children them to come up. So that's what he wants her to do. I said, mm. I said, girl, you have to know how you deal with yourself. But I... I'm just telling you, as a point of view, as, as a woman, I'm telling you, there's no love not right there. But then again, like she turns off that man because she's not carrying herself properly. So when we are going married, I would not marry any man in my room. On a quick time, we're going to put it in paper. I'm going to think about it. Think about it before I run, go and put it in paper for them, for, for green card. Because as soon as them get it, I saw fear, big up yourself, I, Emma. Emma Oh, Anna, big up yourself. Yeah, as soon as them get it, them gone with the wings. Gone with the wings. And I'm telling you, that lady does have no attractiveness about herself. Nothing. Nothing. I say, girl, you got to fix yourself together. Stop wrapping up your head. Be your nice clothes. She got a big plastic slippers walking and drawing on her foot. This big old bag. Her... She need she need a real makeover. But hi and um Janet, I didn't want to tell her that because uh, probably I tell her these mosquitoes they don't like me as soon as them see me sit down there ready to bite me and make my skin start burning me like pepper. Yeah, I don't like them. Yeah. Mosquitoes around because you know the rain been falling and and all, so you know mosquitoes all around. So people, divas and dan. All kind of thing happen to we women, also the men them, because 
when and your friends speak up yourself when we think we are married we are married out oh, for love is not love we are married before we are not married for documentation because later on they started to find fault and they, and, 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 and 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 when we are married we say that those part but now they have to change it to till we find fault but no make nobody use no don't let nobody use it for a sex tool a housewife or nothing be yourself ladies be yourself gentlemen if you find out that what that is happening. and sometime some of these um some of these these ladies and these men who marry people they just do it because they want something and they are the one who don't start treating the ladies them like they're nothing ladies must retreat with love and respect and remember if you and a lady having a problem don't go and curse the lady mother because most of the time they are cursing the ladies' mothers. Both sides. Don't do that. If you know that the lady's sister is a whore, is a prostitute, or what that her business is choose to do what she wanna do. Everybody in life live the life what they want to live. You cannot tell somebody how to live, what to do, when to do it. You understand? Because they say he who feels it knows it and they know what they want in life, so they do it. Yep. So that's my little my little Sunday evening thought, you know. So a lot of us go to church today. Wish um, Queen Olive didn't go to church because as the year Queen Olive to say the other day, I am not going back to the church that I used to go, and I go I, I I visit I will visit another church and the church that I visit I do not like them. They want to book. as soon as me go to the second time they want me to baptize and no I am not because that church is. They said, render your heart, not your garment. And when you go in that church, everybody look dingy. Nobody don't have an, a um, little lipstick on their mouth, a little nail polish on their hands, and they, they start their clothes are wearing, and you hear the talking. They start with, like, some people in the house problem with other people. You know, every church you go, because we get the most hypocrites at church. Yeah, so I didn't feel like I go back. They say you can do your own church in the house because sometimes you we just go to church as we say you want the, you, you could read the bible but you cannot dictate it yourself the pastor dictate it for you and you tell and they preach and they tell you you know what is going on and you go to bible study and all them stuff but i rather stay home save my money because every time i used to go to church i have to pay tithe and i have to pay offering because every tree mm -hmm. Hold on. Hello? Yes, 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 yes. I'm back. I'm back. You know this um this phone here, this um Facebook Live. Facebook Live is like this. They have a um a, a, um a micro piece or what you call it that picked up every earthly single little thing you say it picked it up. Everything. Everything you, you it, it picked up. They don't leave nothing in return. Yes, so, um, yes, as you see, um, a lot of people, a lot of, um, churches, they're just, just there for the money. Every, everything in life we do is, is to do to make money. As you know, as before I say that, as soon as I, I get up and I go out there and I open my door, even see the, the, the men neighbors, them next door sitting, 
alcohol rubbing down them skin because they must get a proper bite in them up because we have trees around here a lot of trees because the trees they plant the tree the city plant the tree so it's good to be keep your house cool so when the rain falls, you know they must get to find themselves situated somewhere but my divas are done i am gonna go because i'm gonna go take them to the the, the um the duncan robbins for to buy the ice cream for them so i send out my love to all my love to all my divas and my dan and my newcomers my friends i do you could go follow me and my youtube page you could like and subscribe my youtube page is olive holland my my instagram is olive diva olive queen diva and also you could you watch me and my olive tinker phillips page yeah i have all those pages there and um you know these kids as i say they pull me out so i just don't feel in the mood to do nothing i was supposed to make some soup for somebody i don't make it i make some fish somebody i don't make it i just don't in the mood to do anything but i soon be up and ready and running back again to start out with my cooking and show off my cooking with my divas them and my dan and how to clean and sunday you know sunday day everybody they do the like extra special cooking you know when my mother was alive and we was kids there she used to have our ice cream and jello and our special drink like our carrot juice and all them thing so everybody it's sunday there in jamaica everybody have your little extra special thing we now have one meat we have two meat we have chicken fish or whatsoever we want as i say i tell everybody i'm not a fish person i do not like it i will eat it but it's not for me i don't like it and all the fruits that i tell you that we have out there a lot of people didn't know i wonder if you all know about get it drink the guinep make a nice lovely drink the guinep that we eat we could make it a drink and it drink just like sour sap drink you put it in you peel all those guinep and you put them in a pan with hot boiling water and it's stripped off everything and when you strip it off then you put, sweeten it down just like you are making um sour sap juice you put all the little spice and thing in there nutmeg vanilla and you sweet the milk if you want to do it with it with um if you want to do it with sugar with sugar and lemon it's it's okay but it's make a nice drink everything every fruits that we eat out there could make nice drink yeah good night dan good night how you doing girl i see you coming from um church I see a picture with you coming from church looking lovely yeah so um i'm going to run now i'm going to take these children to get them ice cream take a little walk down the block and come back i don't know when i come back if i gonna tell myself so well i go walk to so i'm gonna go out for a little walk again or i'm gonna stay home but may god bless each and every one of my divas and my dan who is on the live or who not here now and later on you're gonna go back and watch it but we are talking about a little this a little that we're talking about a little family a little friends a little cooking a little cleaning as me and my grandchildren then we fight every day i say i clean and every day after been walking behind them when i go to do my nails the nails lady say working too hard working too hard working too hard because they don't clean they don't clean they pull they don't do nothing so i have to be walking behind them and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning because i hate when my place too dirty because as soon as you leave up a place like that and that cleaning and that you know kids always eat they leave, they, they eat and they drop thing and you don't clean it up you don't sweep it or mop the floor it's gonna start getting roach roach is, i don't know what what bring roach I don't know what bring rat where they come from but those things come snap easy like that so in order when we have all these children around we, to prevent us from getting it we have just put some disinfectants in the water and mop our floor and wipe them our countertop and wipe them you know a table we have to get all them thing clean and take up all them little little um food particles around because if we don't do that hi juni yeah if we don't do that we're gonna end up have rat rat and roach fly it's a common thing because as fly here care how far the fly there and soon as they start fish flies coming and they said um if if you, you can know if the, the, the fish 
it's, it's not good because if you stay there and cleaning fish and don't fly, don't come around, that means uh, the fish is poisonous. So sometimes they are good in some way. Sure and big up yourself and sometimes they are bad way. But I do not like them because anyway they pitch, they pitch with and leave um, some little white things. Them says egg. Some people say it's doo, doo But I don't like to fly them. So remember when you cook, you finish cooking, you mop down your floor, you clean, you, your refrigerator, you clean your area, clean it down, wipe it down, you know, you know, just to take away the smelly food. And also we keep our stuff, put them in the right, you know, area that you took it from. You put them back. Keep your place clean. See that the children them groom the children them on a, on a weekend. Groom them because you know, in the in from Monday to Friday, we have to be running out. Hi, Dan. Empty your rubbish out every day. Yeah, you have to you have to do that. Empty the rubbish. Yeah. I so sometimes you don't, you have your big garbage bag in, in, in the garbage bag, you just put like papers and stuff in there. But like food stuff, you put them in a small bag at all time and throw them outside in the garbage. Yeah, because roach, don't afraid to come kill them. Them like roach like high Nadine, roach like a clean house. Clean house. So they go run, come then. Here's a clean house. In the chair, what they're sitting, sometimes you give them things to eat and they don't want to eat it. Them hide it in a chair. No one may go find plate in the drawer in the guest room from Dudu. Plate with food. Dudu, why the food is there? I didn't want no more. She know I'm not supposed to be there because but they, because I'm in the, in the sight of them so they can't get to go through it. Then they put it down and forget everything about it. So we have to groom our children. Sometimes it doesn't matter. You can put your 13 year old into the bath and wash them par thoroughly. Wash them hair. Wash Bathe them properly, soak them up properly because they, they're not bathing themselves properly. They will go in there and in the bathroom. Hi, Andre, how are you doing? They will go in there and um, in the bathroom and have the pipe running. Then they have the pipe running, 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 running. And when time they decide to turn off the pipe, and you say, okay, make it take a look at people. I know they're back now with it. They're not bathe themselves coming. They know, they never know what it is. Children are not like be themselves, so we have to give them a little grooming on weekends. And when you are when you are going to work, remember we are leaving them there with the bigger one, or they go to daycare because sometimes you don't have a small one. We don't leave them home. We have to remember to watch the stove. The stove is the most important thing. You don't leave it on because we don't want to be at work and our heart pounding, pounding, pounding when we hear the phone bell, the phone ring that something happened at home. Yeah, so we have to protect the children and that we have protect them from every hunger, protect them from pedophile out there, we protect them, your girls and your boy, because one time we used to worry about our girl children, now we have to worry about the boy picking them too, because you have more gay out there attack people, children, these pedophile we attack people, children, and most of these pastor too, these pastor, you have to be careful of this pastor when they going to church, how they so close to your children, they, they molested your children, because I don't know what is inside of them making them doing this, but you know, a lot of things going on. So we have to take care of what we have because we made our children. We made our children. We go from scratch. We go from scratch to bring our children. We, 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 you, you know where we go at home, we don't forget our children. I Karen. So we have to take care of them. Don't make, teach them. Don't make nobody touch their private part. Because sometimes they start touching from a part which is not private part until they go down to private part and start molesting. Here the lady come up and say, our child playing this game. Hi, Chrissy. Our child playing the game. And when she had the child playing the game, she listen, listen. The child even take off his pants because this is a big person doing that. Teaching these children to do all these things. So we have to just be careful of everything. We can't say, well, oh, we know the skin happened. We don't, have, we don't know what could happen. We don't know what could overpower children to listen to them. Because we can tell them not to do it, you know. But yet still, when, they, when those people convince them, they think that is something right they are doing. Yeah, children is our first priority. And keep our house and our surrounded clean. Keep our house and surrounded clean because it's important. When you eat, remember to wash your hand, wash your mouth. You understand? Because sometimes the kids them eat the meat. And they don't wash them hands, you know, they wipe it on the chair. Or they run in the room and playing with this, touching this, touching that, and all kind of thing. Yes, Miss Dudu, what happened? Thank you.
Yeah. I. Yes, so. Big up to all the England people, London, Canada, all the people in Jamaica. One love, respect to each and every one. Big up to all the people in Trinidad, Barbados, St. Kitts, St. Martin, St. Lucia. Yeah. Is love all over the world. Pamela, big up yourself. We send love all. I send love all over to the world. It doesn't matter your gender, where you're gay or you're straight. One love. Because we don't know the reason why a lot of people, um, a lot of people change from their normal living life to gay. Or sometimes some people from their bond, they feel like that's what they want and they do it. We cannot fight down a person for who who they are or what they want to be in life. You don't like it. You don't like gay. Just, just uh, excuse me. I don't like gay. I don't have nothing, nothing about you. And I cannot tell you what you do, but I just don't, don't want to be in your company. Simple. But sometimes we have to give and take because we don't know what is the consequence, what it may happen. Sometimes some people was raped. Sometimes people... Was, didn't show no love Simone big up yourself some people don't get no love to share um, Trisha some people didn't get no love from been growing up they don't get no love from no mother or no father so there's someone who showed them love and they started to show that person back love and sometimes that's what hi Joni that's what a lot of people end up being like that but respect to everybody And you know, respect all Doris. She invited me to her emancipation day, her, her Guyanese emancipation party. I went out there. I have fun. I enjoy myself. But we all have it all over the world. I didn't think they, I didn't know they have it there. Big stupid me. Hmm. They even know, say, I thought it was only Jamaica alone. <laughs> have it at that time. So, one love to my Jamaican people. I see they're doing a lot of cleaning up and all kind of thing in Jamaica. You know, them always planting tree, always fixing sidewalk, always fixing up a lot of place there. Big up to all my Jamaican people who are working hard, which is tomorrow. I think they're going to do tomorrow. They start early from today. They're going to do a lot of cleaning, a lot of tree planting, and name the tree and, and people name. Yeah, one love, peace, love, joy, and happiness. That's what we want. Oh, some pineapple soda. Mm -mm, no, no alcohol in it. Long time I don't catch your life. Hey, Z. I see you doing a lot of, lot of things, girl. You're making all kind of things. You have to send me some of those things that you're making. When you come back, you're going to package them and send them to me. Or you're going to go, Z, I'm talking to you. You're going to go to the airport and say, who is going to America? I need you all to take this for Queen Allen. Hi, Nickel. And Nicolette, hi, good evening. Yes, show up your Jamaican flags. Born Jamaican, true Jamaican. I was born and raised in Jamaica and came here in this country as um, a 33. Um, 30, no, no. No, I didn't come here 33. I come here about um, 39. Yeah. In this country here a long, long time. Yeah, long time I've been in this country. Yeah. Some, good com some people come here for the good, some people come for the bad, some people have bad experience with this country, some people have good experience. A lot of things is hard for people, some people, some is easy for some people. So wherever, I always tell people, you're living emancipation in of slavery. Uh, so many countries. Yeah. Okay, that is enough. Okay, I got to know. I learned something. I said... Every day we talk to people, you learn something. So thanks, Z, for that. Emancipation is the end of slavery for many countries. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I learned something. So every day is a learning process for everybody. Let's say a little something. Next time, ship him to USA. Oh, you shipped over here. Okay, so let me get some of these. Because you know what, um, Z, I have very bad, sensitive skin. You see, just one mosquito bite me a while ago. And my skin is like it's fire, like somebody said, fire burning in my skin. I don't know. When I used to go to Jamaica, that was my problem. 
fire burn me when those mosquitoes bite me. Yeah, and also when I go to the beach. So I never used to like to go to the beach because the water gives me itchy, itchy, itch me. Hi, Lexi, how you doing? Itch me so bad that I have to walk with a, a, um, a cream to rub my skin when I go down there. As I used to tell my mother, I think, um, I don't know, but I make different from any other body. So you say when people call me black, ugly, this and that. Yes, I know. I am black. But I know I'm beautiful. But I have a very, very sensitive skin. I don't know. If even when the rain fall and I go there and I come in, I have to wash my skin down with alcohol and wash it off or else I get bump over my skin. Yeah, some people come with bad, bad logical uh, um, thing there about them skin. Some is one of them. Yep. So my people, how you all doing? How is your Sunday? Lexi, where are you? Lexi, where are you right now? I know you as a woman, you just like to go anywhere by yourself. You stray and you don't care. You just go have your fun time and come. Going to London, here. Man's of class in emancipation. Oh my god. Oh, you have the soap for the mosquito. Okay. I would like to see if that would help me. John Jarvis, big up yourself. Yeah, this thing burning my skin. Burning me when they bite me. I don't know. I always say mosquito. They always say mosquito um, can give you malaria or give you all kind of thing. But I'm scared the mosquito may give AIDS too because when they when they bite you, they push this, they push that little thing right down in your body and when they're coming out, they bite you. So I'm always scared of the mosquito. But one just give me a one bite, me get a while ago. And that's it. The skin is in fire. So... I would like to get that mask. I'll make a mask to soap, Miss Oliver. <laughs> that would be good. Good evening, Dan. Good evening. Good evening. That um, do you make mask to soap for everybody, or are you gonna make me a mask to soap special? Because I cannot use all them sweet soap to to wash my skin. I have to use, I have to use like the um, the soap, the soap that they use to wash the clothes, the cake soap. Yeah, pure natural. Thing I got to use because my skin sensitive like that and one of my daughter my my first child she's everything like me very very funny so I know it's Sunday oh put coffee on the bite or oh, the coffee it um have to wet it and put it on it or just put it like that now let lean big up yourself Yeah, they, they burn very hard. So that when they burn me so much, I feel like I would like to amputate my hand or my foot. Anyway, they bite me. Mm hmm Yep. Ladies, divers, then newcomer. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I will, I will try. I will try it, Z, and see what it will do for me. So I will be one of your good customer, Because I just want to keep my, my, my nice... My nice radiant skin, just like that. It does. It does start swank away. It and after a certain age, you know, you start your body start changing things. So I don't start the changing it, and I don't want the changes to start it. So I am. I just want to keep it intact. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there come Duda again, stalking. Duda, why are you stalking me? So we're gonna go buy the ice cream. Are you gonna wear the coat go there to buy the ice cream? We're going down um Dunkin' Donut. Yeah? Let me come over this let me see it first. Mm -hmm. Come and see because we have um Okay. All right. Hi Felicia, I thought you was going to give me a call. What's going on? What's going on? You know, my disgusting grandson is here. When he is here too, again, I can't sleep. So I got a, ex a grandson come yesterday. And the two grand from Georgia, one from Florida, one from... And 
two from Georgia, one from Florida. But they, the, um, the grandson is grown, but I scared of him like crying. I sleep in a wake up, jump up, go out, open the door, go outside looking all over for see because I just scared of him. That's my first grandchild. But it, it don't care how much I could have cursed him and run him and tell him don't come here. It's waste my wasting time and Felicia, you know that. Waste my time. But my now go see him come up at the door and don't open the door to him. That is the thing about it. But he say going home back very soon. So I'll see what's going on. So, as I say again, love, peace, joy, and happiness. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Felicia, hello, my friend, Lord Jesus. Yes, he is here. So I hope him going back when him say my go because when him there, me get extra nervous, extra, extra nervous. Yeah, kid, he's a wild kid. He's a wild kid. He never born here, but he came to this country when he was three years old. So. I think when it was three or two and some change, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I... Maybe I hear blood. <laughs> yeah, so, when we see him come... When we see him come, my dear, me worried. Extra worried over when him come. And then, you know, got a lot of more things, you know, taken care of. Hello. <laughs> I have blood. I have protection. Yeah, me know my blood have my protection. I love all my grandchildren. And I love them because as my his mother always tell me that, Mommy, I don't business with you and him because I scare all oh, him, him, him behave bad. And as soon as we call and complain to you, about him you're always taking up for him yeah because he call and complain about him mother mother call and complain about him so but me have to do me in a spot right there so me have to split the difference no one don't want to hold the blame a blessed night uh, I, miss Oliver. I haven't seen you in a while i miss you. i love you i come on very um soon as i come on every now and then when i feel like I come down because you know as we say me have them grandchildren and sometimes i'm so upset with them i don't want to come on the thing and talk because uh, me have to walk behind kisha big up yourself me have to walk behind them yeah me did not no grandchildren me did the, the mother were like grandchildren them like have them round me and when they come round me they give me all the trouble in the world. But when we like, well for do. But all in all I'm trying to just teach myself how to be humble with them and just let they do until the next time. No way, you're not coming. They go can't come for two or three days. But I never gonna keep them for so long. I stopped having children so long because Kenny is thirty five. My last child Kenny is thirty five. So me stopped protect baby dodo is my handbag but uh, handbag my handbag dodo is for walk with and care go when me go and me come back straight upstairs to our mother yeah but if you sit down and take care of them like that mm, it's a lot of work mm -hmm. it's 2 a.m in sweden and we have a great night Okay, Z. Oh, you're back in Sweden. I thought it was in Jamaica. One love, one love. Good night, good night, good night. Ladies, divas, and done. Y'all go buy your um pineapple cloud and go make it. I have out there to make, but I didn't want to make it. I'm going to make for the next week. I let you know while we drink, we sip with a little, with a little of alcohol, with a little wine, whatsoever we want to drink it with it. Or your ice cream and jello. And play a little nice soft music like Otis Ready music and... Gladys Knight and the Pip and all them things, they understand, relax back and think about long time days and how love people used to love one another and have good fun like that. Now everybody been fighting and war. So have a wonderful time to all my divas. As I say, big up to all the people from Belize, my son-in-law who is in the army. May God bless him and wherever he go, he always going out. Right now he's, he, he just came back and he's going away again. He been in the army for 10 years and he's been promoting like there is nobody business i'm so proud of him he's my daughter in texas husband i'm very proud of him he's an awesome guy lovely guy they have three lovely children from the age of 18 to six their children that they have and 
they have really a mutual understanding with each other they are doing very good they are in texas i love them and you know i have my next daughter in um that's living here and my son in texas and i have ken with me so i have four children and i really 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 love my children and because you know we bring them in this world and whatsoever they 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 choose to do in life that's their life of living we cannot make no plans for them you don't want you can't tell them you want them to be a doctor or a nurse or whatsoever anything they do and they're making money and they are living and living comfortable that's there and i would never swap my children for nobody children who is a lawyer doctor professor or nothing your children it doesn't matter what kind of job they do there are your children hi shame good evening you're in another country right now in jamaica big up yourself and i hope you likes over there you know mask it over there be careful of the mask it tonight okay stephanie one love one love love in the house yeah big up to all the trinidad and then big up they say god bless america we come here in this country some come for better some come for because of their parents migrate and they have to come with their parents some of them didn't want to come and a lot of us are here and while we are here we have opportunity in life here so we just use up the opportunity use it to the best of Selma big up yourself Stephanie big up yourself use it to the best of the ability because we only live one time and in life we enjoy whatsoever we are doing and anything we are doing we enjoy continue to do because there's no one else to protect and guide us but the god of heaven and if there's anyone in the house who has a mother or sister or brother who's sick we're gonna send out our prayer for them we have prior warrior on our page prior warrior adasa big up yourself big up yourself <laughs> yes adasa big up yourself yeah we have prior warrior on here and um we're asking our prior warrior to put in a little prayer for whosoever have somebody sick mother sister brother and um sonica i send my condolence to you sonica your mother passed away i dreamt the dream and i was gonna call you sonica but i said you know i'm not gonna call you i dreamt something and i said i was gonna call you but i didn't call you and then the next day i said you put up say your mother died and i said i'm not even gonna call you and tell you what i dreamed but the dream was not a nice dream what i dreamed but you know, nobody come on the face of earth to be a pillar of salt. Everybody have to, <laughs> you're in the dark. Um, Dodo? Dodo? It was light up and thing, but no, because, you know, it's getting night now over here. So that's why it's getting dark. So I'm going to put the light on so you could see me. <sighs> Yeah, it is what time now? Um, 8.06. So we still have it. It's, it's not still light outside, sun, sunlight outside. But, you know, it's getting dark little by little. Yeah, so I'm. All, you can see me now. You can see me now. Adassa, you're lonely? Where is that little boy? My great-grand. Where's my great-grand? <laughs> yep. I cook up a storm, they eat up because as big as my grandson is, he's a man, eat, eat like he's a baby. First thing he hit on when they come into my house is my cereal. He, they call him cereal baby. He loves cereal and him is 24. Cereal like nothing that guy eat. And he loves macaroni and cheese. And he call every meat chicken. Mm -hmm. So everybody eat up a storm and go and take a walk so those two no want me to take them to buy ice cream so i'm gonna go and get them an ice cream mm -hmm. so big up to the people i'm in florida connecticut massachusetts maryland georgia yep bronx big up um who's party tonight i think this guy having a party tonight he invited me to his party i don't know probably later on how i may feel i may walk out to his party but you know everybody having their party their their party tonight because you know it's a holiday it's a holiday in our country so they're, they're doing the same thing right here now in, in 
New York. But one love, peace, joy, happiness to everybody. Queen Olive said, big up to all our divas, our divas, our victorious, anointed woman and the guys in. One love, peace, joy. Remember, take care of your children, Melissa. Kadian, remember to take care of your children. Our children is our joy and pride. Big up to all the nurses, the doctors, the teacher, the police, and the soldiers. Big up to all of them. While we are sleeping, they are protecting us. We know we have good and we have bad in the force. Here in America and here there in Jamaica, we have good. Nadine, Nadine, big up yourself. We have good and we have bad police officers. We have good and we have bad nurses, doctors, and teachers. Because some of these people, they have family home they live with and sometimes they have a little problem home and they take the problem home with them okay big up to the girl who is living in kingston and in mandeville i'm in mandeville i'm a little back when i reach home i'll reach home to kingston she's gonna give me a call because i don't probably the first she's going to man big up to the mandeville people then big up to all the people i mean in our 14 parish in jamaica we have we look at help me call them mandeville Manchester, Montego Bay, St. James, St. Catherine, Janet Miller, big up yourself, um, St. Mary, that in my country, St. Catherine, Portland, Westmoreland, um, Kingston, we call Kingston, yeah, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, <laughs> big up to, she's in, yeah, she's in Mandeville, yeah, our country. I don't remember the rest of them. I remember them, but it's like off the hand. So, big up to all my country people, my Jamaican people. You know, you know, you have a lot of people coming up and crying. How people coming to Jamaica and begging them this. Nobody not supposed to go to Jamaica and beg nobody nothing. If you goes to Jamaica and somebody bring you, uh, bring you something, and if you feel like to return the favor, you could give them a roast breadfruit. You go pick roast breadfruit off of the tree. Who now have no um. Who don't have no, no tree, you can go buy one breadfruit to ask your neighbor for one breadfruit. Yeah, but when people come to Jamaica, they, they're always wanting this. They're always wanting that. So when time them are coming, you can show them appreciation and give them something. One love to everybody. I'm a love and all. Peace, love. Yeah, big up to my family. Big up to my sisters, my brothers, my niece, my nephew. What is that? Grapes. No. They're bribing me now. They're bribing me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ZZ, big up yourself. And Texa, big up yourself. Queen Olive in the house. Queen Olive is going. Remember, ladies and divas and Dan, remember, keep your, your bathroom clean. Because the guys, them, has to use the bathroom. And when the guys, them, using the bathroom, their thing go inside. So if you don't keep your bathroom clean, the guys, them, things are going to get messed up. And then you're going to blame him that he go out there having somebody when you're not keeping the bathroom clean. Always keep your bathroom. Cher, big up yourself. Keep your bathroom clean at all time. Yeah. Trisha, excellent. Big up yourself. Is your boat ride coming up, I think, um, on the 19th of this month? I think your birthday and your, your boat ride, yeah. Facey, um, care, yeah. So, um, I'm saying I love you all. Peace. Go enjoy yourself. Who's going out to party tonight? And remember to be careful on the road. It is better and cheaper to take an Uber to and from your party. Right now, Uber, you do the pool on the Uber who is in the United States. Everywhere I think they have Uber. I don't know if they have it in Jamaica. Do the Uber and you will feel more relaxed and comfortable. You don't have to walk to look for parking. You don't have to try drink and junk. Do not text them. You could text when you're in the Uber. You could do anything. You just sit until you reach your destination. So we have to take care of ourselves and the person who, who, who bring in the Uber Thanks to them. Patricia, big up yourself. Thanks to the man who created Uber. It is very good for us. That sometimes we take some taxi. Them taxi carry over the whole world. They do all kind of things. But when you're in an Uber, it could happen, of course, but very easily. They could find out to do it. And it is very good for us when we are going to a party. Some party doesn't have no parking. So better when you take an Uber to and from when you are doing it. And do the pool so it's a little cheaper. So big up on yourself. One love peace and joy happiness within you enjoy your rest of the night
night enjoy your dinner and enjoy your kids your husband your wife and your family remember if your mom your mommy is uh, yeah it's worth it it's in there yeah that's one of the grand grand they I, I make the fish for them they love fish but i'm not i'm not a fish person so i take the fish and run to the back of the yard and fry them yesterday because i don't want my house to have this fish smell in the good night good night to my four children my one grand my 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 one great grand my nine grand and my family rest in peace mama phyllis you know how much we miss you especially 21st gone was your birthday we miss you abundantly but god don't make no mistake in nothing what he do because god said no you couldn't go no more with all the pain and ache and sickness so he decided to take you so we decided to accept what god do for us because it's better for us because we were stressed the same way you were stressed and be careful ladies divas and that take care of yourself ladies go and see your gynecology Je um gentlemen please go and do your go do your colon because we don't want to wait and it's till it's too late when it's too late there's nothing they can do take care of yourself and lay them them man who running around with mary jane and jacqueline and everybody want to be careful because it's different sizes and they're going a different size be careful because you think you know is doing anything or hurting anybody. You're not. You're hurting your own self. Go do your call and enjoy life. One love. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Trisha. <laughs> One love to everybody. Dude is stalking me. Why are you stalking me, Dude? Tell him. I'm for ice cream. Yeah. And when they get an ice cream, they'll take a little lick and say, Oh, I'm full. Special Dude. Yeah. So, good night. Peace. Love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.